Nicky D in the butcher boy. Uh, uh, yeah, baby. Uh, uh. Nicky D in the butcher boy. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, baby. Nicky D in the butcher boy. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm so Hey guys, welcome to Mickey D and the Butcher Boy on Dice FM. This is the Awkward Halfer. Welcome, well, Butcher Boy. Well, welcome. Who knows what it's going to be? Because it is the Christmas special. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so, with the, the Christmas special, there's no rules. No limits. We can do whatever we want. So, when I say halfer, it could be a full, a full hour. Could yeah. be two hours. There's no limitations, is there? Three hours limit? Oh. No, let's make three hour limit. Three hour limit. Yeah. All right. We'll cut it off at three hours. Yeah. But apart from that, we're going to go yeah. for as long as Jam we want. Jam-packed so for Christmas spirit. We've got some special guests on board. Oh, it's going to be a massive show. They don't know they're on board yet, but no, they're they going to be on the they train. Will. So I'm looking forward to that. I feel like I need to clear something. I need to... I feel like the listeners need to be told this. Continue. You've got 13 inches to work with. That's what you've got to work with. Everyone, well, the butcher boy has 13 inches to work with. Now, if you think that's good, I've got 15 inches. So, I'm talking I'm talking our laptops. Oh, oh really? <laughs> I just had to... They <laughs> just go from nowhere. Just back, just... I just thought I'd throw that in I there. Like I didn't know how yep. you'd react. Throw him, throw him. Throw you him threw me as well. Yeah, it threw you. You had no I idea what was coming. Maybe you had a coming. spy hole in my room or something. I didn't know what was going <laughs> I've been chatting with Nicole. <laughs> yeah. But uh, <laughs> I just thought I'd let them know that when we're at home and you put the 13-inch down... I'm always in the room. By the <laughs> the when, it the, uh, out, when it slips out, <laughs> I can't help but put my 15-inch right next to it. <laughs> just, just to say, yep. Yep. Yeah, yep. it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, just a little bit. Just the right amount. <laughs> <laughs> Couple extra inches. That's all you need. Nothing so, wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, yeah, this is the Christmas special, and we've got some amazing things lined up. But we we're going to kick it to a song, aren't we? We are something uh, very Christmassy. What do we got? Well, you tell me. We've got bright lights. Bright lights, baby. Because, uh, yeah, Christmas is all about bright lights and feeling good and feeling special. So this is Bright Lights on Dice FM. Happy hour. Happy hour. Happy hour? Yeah, let's go to happy hour. I like that. Yeah. Happy hour. Happy hour. Bang. Bright lights. Drunk when I'm all alone Wanna feel something real Something beautiful Something new, something truly Incredible, but I Can't find a
Hi guys, welcome back to Mickey D and the Butcher Boy on Dice FM. This is the happy hour. This is the Christmas special, and that was Bright Lights. Butcher Boy, we've, yes. got, we've got to get our mate on. We do. It, it wouldn't be the same Christmas special if we didn't get our mate Jimbo. The classic, the classic all time. Jimbo, the wig man, Wiggins on yep. board. Um, we found out on Sunday, didn't we, that... Yep. Uh, when he came for around the, for uh, a uh, jam. <laughs> jam. Which is one song. And <laughs> we jammed out one song and then uh, just we, just, we just started talking, which yep. is fine. It's good um, We found out that he's got a job interview in Queensland. Yes. In Brisbane. Brizzy. And he was doing it today. Yes, so, he was, so we've got to find out. We've got to find out what's going on. What's happening. Have we, have we lost our friend forever or what? Yep. And we also got to find out part two of the saga of what he did on his Christmas party. With mm. that girl, what happened yeah. if there's more messages to on? come or what's yeah. going on? Yep. So we're going to give him a buzz. We tried this last week and it went down an absolute treat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if we don't say so ourselves. <laughs> I, I don't want to come out too cocky, but <laughs> yeah. we're extremely happy with the way it went. Yep. He doesn't know, again, because we don't really bother in. Yeah, so yeah, we'll give him a call. Letting him know. So who knows? Here it is Jimbo. Jimbo. Jimbo, how are you, mate? Jimbo, how Jimmy! you going? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> You're on the show, mate, again. Again. You made the Christmas special, <laughs> my friend. You're on the Christmas special. You seriously need to find some other phone numbers, <laughs> It's the Mickey Dean Butcher Boy Christmas special. We had to get you on. Had to be done. Right. So what are we talking about this week? We are talking about you, my friend. You again. Oh. Your big day in Brizzy. Big day in Brizzy. How did it go? What would, you, what would you like to know? It went well. It went I'm well. Happy with it. Yep. I, well, I don't know if I'm that happy with that. No, we don't um, want to. We don't want to lose you to Brisbane. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you haven't lost me yet. I haven't heard anything, but uh, I'm confident about it. That's no, all. We'll, we'll make a few stage. calls and uh... <laughs> we'll make a few calls and ruin things. <laughs> <laughs> ruin some things for you. <laughs> Thanks, God. So, so you. I'll be co- sure not to use you as referee. <laughs> So how long how long did the interview go for? Uh, it was about an hour. Oh really? Wow. Intense yeah. or sorry? Intense questioning or? Uh, yeah, there was, a, there was a bit of you know some technical questions and stuff which I wasn't really prepared for, but oh, okay. I think I bluffed my way through it. So. <laughs> like you usually do in life. You do. <laughs> yeah. So when, when, uh, when if you got the job, when would you start? I don't know. And I don't know yet. When did they say they were getting in contact with you? Uh, within the next couple of weeks. So. Couple of weeks. Couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah. it's a slow process. Yeah. Well, I guess did they you tell them to speed it up, or well, I've got... <laughs> I'll give you a week, maybe. I've yeah, got two days of interviews to do, so. Yeah, oh, right, yeah. So, so do you know how many are, are going for it, or? Uh, I think there could be about six. Okay. 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 One out of six. Uh, that's mm. that's not bad odds. And it did take mm. take them six months. You were saying on Sunday for them to actually get in contact with you. You applied for this job six months ago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. The aviation industry it's not as fast paced as everyone thinks. <laughs> <laughs> and we were also talking about uh, the girl at work. We won't we won't say her name and we won't describe her to the no. audience like you did. Um, I think she's a basketball though. Yeah, right? she plays Does basketball. She, play basketball? Does she? <laughs> Jimbo, she plays basketball. I thought there was only one ball in basketball. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, any? So you getting the messages still? Um, yeah, I got a phone call last night. Actually. Oh, <laughs> oh calm yes. down. <laughs> calm down. Here we go. So she but rang... once again, but once again, wait for it. Nothing to report. So I'm, I'm sorry well, you just didn't say anything. <laughs> No, no, well, nothing nothing official to report, you know, it's just a, a friendly chat. What did she, so she called you, obviously. Your, your listeners must be absolutely sick of hearing about me and my... Oh, they love it. They love it. Pathetic love life. We get calls all the time. <laughs> fact, I can't even call the love life because that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know how much feedback we get from this? Unbelievable. Um, through the roof. Through the roof. <laughs> I, need, I need a new phone, yep, pretty much. Pretty much. 
all the time. So what did you talk about? How long did you talk for? Uh, no, I don't know. I'll have to go oh. through my phone records and work it out. Put it I think in. it was probably only two minutes. Two minutes? <laughs> two minutes and three seconds, maybe. <laughs> two minutes? Yeah, I'd say so. Jeez, I hope that's not like a love life. <laughs> 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 hey, that's 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 a quick conversation. That's it. That's a hey. high. That's pretty much a high buy. That's that's the way I make uh, make one of its uh, quick and uh, wham bam pick your man. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. it's oh, impressive. Beautiful. I can't I can't get used to the um, the fact that I'm being recorded over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, why are you doing beautifully? Uh, well, hopefully, you know, she doesn't listen to this too much. I mean, most people do, though, so... Yeah, you're in trouble. Yeah. But you haven't said anything yeah, bad right. about her, so it's all be, all been positive. It has. So I guess we're going to have to wait for the next instalment, aren't we? Yep, yep. <laughs> but it's good to hear Good to hear the interview well, went well. Yes. You probably worked out by now that it's, it's going very slowly, so give me six months, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we should call you the turtle. <laughs> Just go to the yeah. pace. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. Thanks for being on the show, Jim Jimbo. Yes, thanks, guys. And uh, feel free to edit as, as necessary. <laughs> no editing, mate. No editing. No editing. <laughs> all, it's all real. It's all live. One take. One take wonders. <laughs> That's right. All right, mate. I'll speak to you soon. All right. Okay. Bye. See you, Jimbo. See you, mate. Bye. Bye. Well, that went. That went a treat again. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. No, exactly the way yeah, we planned Jimbo. it. Jimbo just shines through every time. Every he? time when I thought, just, he loves to leave it to the 10th ring. He when does. We're going, just uh, like, oh, message. message. You let go. Danny boy. <laughs> what? He's here. And the energy. Yep. I think he knew. Yep. I think he thought, oh, Danny boy's ringing. Yeah. I'm on the okay. show. I'm on the show. Oh, He's oh, probably doing his shy. tie up. Doing his tie up. <laughs> <laughs> the, he, me, 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 me. The energy <laughs> levels were up. Yeah. Weren't they? Yep. Don't know about that two-minute combo, though. No, I know. We just tripled that pretty much. Yeah. And, um, we, and that we, wasn't much. We weren't really talking about anything. No. It's pretty much our show. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm a bit concerned for him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, was, he wasn't flustered at all. Nothing. He's positive. He loves it. He's just waiting for it. Yep. All day, just looking at his phone. <laughs> just going, yep, it's coming. Oh, call me. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> call me the two-minute man. <laughs> all right, we better get to the song. What, 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 what are you doing? Shit, well, you didn't prepare for this. No, we didn't think about what song would be on next. Mm. We've got the back catalogue. We've we got do. the middle catalogue. How about the song that was originally the name of our band? No reason. No reason. Okay. It's been a while. It's been a very it's long time. It's quite heavy. And the, it starts with a drum beat. It does. Unusual for oh, us. Actually quite, with. yeah. Yes. I don't know. It's a good song. But uh, it goes a bit at a time at the end when we go a bit faster. And a fact that the listeners would, would love is that the lyrics... We actually oh, use. Cop- hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell them that. Yeah, we yeah. use the lyrics in this a little called bit. Life. In the bridge. In the bridge. Yeah, we do. Because they're such good lyrics. So. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> All right, this is Mickey D and the Butcher Boy on Dice FM. This is the Christmas special, the happy hour. Happy and hour. this is No Reason.
no reason people don't understand Why do we fight about nothing When they expect to resolve these problems that linger in our minds Think we all need a helping hand sometimes Need a helping hand sometimes Time passes with no reason People don't understand Why do we fight Hey guys, welcome back to Mickey D and the Butcher Boy on the Happy Hour. Happy this Hour, is a Christmas, Christmas special. special. And that was no reason, an old classic of ours. An old, old classic. So we've already had Jimbo on the show talking about his love life, and I think it's about time we uh, spoke about the non-existence of my love life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I was uh, pretty much back backstory for the listeners. They probably already know this. I was with a girl for four years. We broke up. Yep. Shit happens. We move on. Yep. So the past six months, if I had to rank my, or if I had to give myself a rating out of 10 with how I've done with the opposite sex, I wouldn't even give it a zero. I would be in the negatives. <laughs> and I know you're not saying anything because you're agreeing. I would give no, it a well, negatives. I would give it a negatives. I don't know about that. I think you've been a little harsh on yourself. I'd give it a, all right, let's give it a 0.5 out of 10. 0.5. That's workable. You can work with that. <laughs> Well, there's only one way to go, isn't there? Well, you well, would think. Mm, you could go to point two five. But I'm special. <laughs> I could probably go into the negatives, even though that's not really possible. So, mm. so the self love is that? Is that including the stars? Or... <laughs> <laughs> self love. Let's not worry about that. That's not a problem. That's not ten out of ten. <laughs> uh, so pretty much, anyway. we need a female's perspective. Yeah, I need help. Yep. So. I spoke to as me, my friend from work, even though we don't work together anymore. She's yes. just a friend now, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so You've got a friend. So I've got a friend, and she's female, and I need help yep. because I don't understand them. Yep. So I'm. We're going to give her a call and go and just awkwardly talk to her. Yeah, we've never spoken to a female. Yeah, I've never spoken to her in my life. I've never <laughs> met her. So this is going to be amazing. Point. And interesting. What did she say when she saw you? She saw a, she saw a film clip, a yep. video clip of It's All About You, yep. Dancing Away. Yep. And what did she say? <laughs> she said to me, she said this to me. She's never met you. Was it a uh, criminal of cops or... Yeah, she said she reminded you of a guy that she saw on cops. <laughs> getting arrested. Getting arrested. <laughs> right. What a compliment. That's amazing. What a lovely... Uh, Hard to top that. Lovely young lass. You look like that drug I was on the telly other day. <laughs> So let's give her a call. Now, she said she would pick up. I don't but, know. But I don't, I don't know. reckon she will. Mm. I reckon she's going to go, ooh, it's them. Because I've pre warned do We don't like to pre warn people, but I felt with her, you had to I know. had to, or else she wouldn't pick up. No. So let's see what happens. Let's do I'm it. a little nervous. I'm just yeah, going to yep, say it. Yep. And I know you're nervous. Yeah, because I, I don't know her. You know, so, you don't know how she's going to react when you say something. So it's correct. I don't think no. I know either. All right, so we're giving a Let's call. Let's do this. <coughs> oh, nice <and> loud. <laughs> Get out of my ear. <laughs> Will she pick up? I'll be happy if she picks up, but I got the vibe. It's Meany. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> You're on the radio. You're on Mickey Dean Bush Boy. Oh you, dear! Did welcome you not, aboard. Welcome aboard. Did you not think it was us? Pardon? Did you think it was us? No, I completely forgot. Oh, she's good. She's good. Yeah, she's very good at forgetting. Acting surprised. I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the actual That's so mean. The truth is she actually would have forgotten. Yeah. She forgets pretty much everything. Yeah, I did forget. So, <sighs> hey, how you doing? All right. <laughs> I, love the, I, love, I love the energy you're giving. The, oh, little, yeah. the listeners speaking, must speaking. be thrilled with the energy. <laughs> so, we've got a topic... And we need a female's perspective. Uh, yes. So, <laughs> so we thought we'd give you a buzz and see what you've, uh, the advice you've got Thank to give. Thank you. I feel very honoured. <laughs> so we're, we're talking about how pathetic my love life is. <clears throat> That's what we do on the show. 
Oh, okay. Oh, now you've perked no. up. <laughs> now, with, now the livers are coming up. And so I, I need help. And I thought we'd get a female's perspective. So the question yep. is, I've got a scenario for you. Tsunami. Okay. <laughs> not a tsunami, not a scenario. <laughs> so I'm at, I'm, I'm at a pub. I see a female yep. I like. She's at the yep. bar. What do yep. I do? What do I do? Well, is it A, B, or C, or I'm going to make something no, up? No, you've got to, like, do You'll I go, I, I, I don't even know if I should say hi, or do I go, yeah, love? I mean, what do I do? Well, is she, is she at the bar, or is she on the dance floor? She's at the bar. She, we're going to put her at the bar. We're going to put her at the bar, okay. Yeah. She's waiting for a drink. Waiting for a drink. Should I go, would, would you like a drink, or what? what? Well, you've got to be subtle. How do you, you don't want to come subtle? across as a slave. No, so you can't stare. You can't <laughs> stare. The awkward stare. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I would go up to it. Not up to her. Up to the bar next to her. Yep. And... Hey, just give a, sl- a little comment or... S- slap on the bum, maybe? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> would that be a little bit too what? sleazy? Pardon? Would that be a little too sleazy, the slap on the bum? Maybe wait for that one. So, no. what should I say? Do I just say, how you going? Or should I say, having a good night? Or what do I do? Oh, see, I don't know. I, I think that it's a hard scenario to put me in because if someone said to me, you're having a good night, I'd kind of look at them, say yes, and walk away. Okay. So, you're not going to get much from it. So, so should, is there anything it, that can be said? Yeah, that will not come across sleazy or awkward. Is it anything? Is it or is it or is it? Should I approach her when she's on the D floor? Is that a more acceptable approach? No, no, no. I think the bar's a lot easier because you can talk a bit better at the bar. Okay. okay. So the if I'm yeah. go, if I'm going to have a crack, the bar is the best place to be. Yeah. <laughs> that was a, yeah. Was that sounds wrong, doesn't yeah. it? But, but anyway. so right at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you've had some experiences. <laughs> You're stressing out, aren't you? <laughs> it's all right. We only broadcast about 100 million viewers. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah worldwide. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just don't turn the link around this time. <laughs> <laughs> so pick up lines. You've had you've had guys come up to you and say stuff. What What have you had happen that, that's that gone astray? Come on, give us an example of someone having a crack at you. I know how many free drinks you get. You're always telling me how many free drinks you get. <laughs> what, what have guys come Did up? Did I tell and, you the really bad one? No. What was that? Uh, okay, well, I was out one night and this guy comes up to me. My boyfriend had walked off yep. to go to the bathroom, so I'm standing at the bar. Right. And um, <laughs> this guy comes up to me and he's kind of a bit closer than, than comf- comfort. He's got up right um, in your face. Pardon? He's got right up in your face. Yeah, like he was right there. And I was kind of like, okay, I don't know this guy. I just kind of stepped to the side. And he kept like stepping to the side. And I looked... What do you want? <laughs> I think he was pretty drunk. So he's like, um, oh, you look like my mum when she was 18. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. Get out. Oh, my God. So he's gone He's gone in for the Terrible. kill thinking she she looks like my mum. I'm going to have a crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing yeah. I'm going to say. Maybe yeah, I should say that. I, I didn't even say anything. I was like, what? <laughs> I've heard that before. Well. Have you heard that I've before heard as that. well? You look my mum. Maybe that's one of your friends that did it. Maybe it was. Maybe it was Luke. Maybe it was Luke. <laughs> <laughs> that's awkward. What do you think? I've got, I've got an idea for a pickup. Well, not a, it's not a pickup line, but it's just to throw a curveball. What if I went up to someone and said, do you play netball for a, a certain club? Like, just say just say we're at the G-Bunk, so it's in the Hawthorne. I go, do you play netball for the Hawthorne Netball Club? What do you reckon of that? Hello? <laughs> I'm going to take that as a no. <laughs> because that's not being sleazy. Um, that's just saying... I think, I think I... you've got to do a bit of research if you're going to do something like that. Do you know that there's, there's a Hawthorne Netball Club? That... Yeah. Like, you're not really going to get much much back if there's no Hawthorne Netball Club. <laughs> that would be amazing, though. If, if she said, no, I don't, <laughs> then I could say, oh, you look like a netballer. Um, you... How about it? <laughs> no, not that. No? Okay. No, you look like a netballer. Um, do you play another sport? 
and then bang, we're into the conversation. Or would the, is that just? Should I just give up? In general, so what do you? You can't say anything, can you? No. So that's why I don't, and I just sit there. I think you got to wait till three, four o'clock in the morning. They're all just about to pass out, <laughs> and just then you sweep one, in, chuck them in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's... See, I don't get to three in the morning anymore. Yeah, I suppose. We have, uh, yeah. We've yeah. tried. As many, what what time did you leave Saturday night? Oh, please. <laughs> um, <clears throat> what I don't time? know. 12.30? 12.30. Now, 12.30. I don't know. You, you would know better than I know. She left... She left that's the, the time we normally leave to go out. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. 12.30 she left, right? And then the next day... She can't remember anything. <laughs> so she's gotten absolutely plastered, can't remember any of the night, and gone home at 12.30. Only certain bits. That is class. That's, that's class. That's impressive. Yeah. So At least I made an early exit. Man. You did. Stay out in the public, yeah. You did. So, that's where I like to go. Like. I just had to tell the listeners that because that's pretty impressive. Thank you. Yeah, 20, impressive. 12.30 and you can't remember anything. Yeah, so. that's beautiful. Yeah, but, okay, it's one off. Hasn't happened before. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll just go back on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think you've, I could say that you've helped solve a lot, a lot of problems, but you really haven't cleared anything up for me. No, I haven't. You, you just gave me a bad topic. Well, we'll have to think of a better one. We'll next. have to think of a better one and get back to you, I reckon. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for being on the show. Thanks you're, for you're calling a trooper. Me. First female on the sh- Mickey D and Butcher Boy show. And it was nice to meet you as well. Oh, yeah, this is the Butcher Boy, by the way. <laughs> yeah. This is the guy that you thought was on Cops. <laughs> was it, it Cops? It wasn't Cops. What it was... was Crime Stoppers. Oh, Crime, crime Stoppers. Stoppers. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> At least it's local. That's local, yeah? <laughs> it actually could have been. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> all right, I'll speak to you soon, all right? All right, All right. I'll speak to you soon too. Bye. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Okay. Okay. Well, done and dusted. She she picked up and she she just picked up and she forgot. Mm. So yeah, that worked out well. Beautiful. You could have shocked her and surprised her because she would have picked up anyway. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. Next time around. Next so time. that really helped me pretty much she zero, clarified everything. She was on the show, so and she there you go. Tick that participated. Box. All right, let's get to a song. What do we got? Okay. I keep throwing them to you because do. I don't really want to think about it. Um, well, we're talking about bar. We're talking about Stella bar. Stella bar. Exactly. It's a great segue, Thank you. Butcher Boy. Thank you. As you drink your <laughs> bourbon, just making the brain cells just accelerate. Just away. They're just <laughs> nearly exploding. So how do you pick up at the bar? I don't know, but this is Stella Bar on Dyson Fair. Sing sorry. 
started getting serious and that was cool with me but as the love got stronger so did much I listened and then I said is this a bad time to let you Welcome back, guys. That was Stella Bar on Dice FM. This is Mickey Dean, the Butcher Boy, on the happy hour, the Christmas special, full of Christmas spirit. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided, we, we've decided that because it's Christmas, we're going to have a little fun. Yep, we're gonna. It's we're gonna, gonna be a fun one. We're gonna play a little prank. We're calling everyone. We're going crazy, aren't we? We're just going nuts. Yeah, we are. We're, we're in crazy, a, John. Right here. We're, we're in a calling frenzy, aren't we? Yes, we are. So we're gonna do a little prank, aren't we? <coughs> we're gonna. We're gonna call. <laughs> Who are we gonna call? Some fish and chip shop in uh, Chapel Street. In Chapel Street, and try and have a little chat. And have a chat, not just make an order, because I'm finding these days with with when you make a call to order food, so not personal, not personal at all. They instead of going. Instead of them going, hey, how you going? They just go, what do you want? Yep. They don't even say hi anymore. They just say, what do you want? What do you want? It's what? So how you going? the butcher boy is going <coughs> to he's gonna try and talk to him instead. It's going to be a struggle because... This is the first time I'm, we've done uh, a prank. Yeah. And really. you look like you're about to throw up. I'm nearly going to throw up, I think. You could shit and throw up at the same time. Yes, I could. <laughs> <laughs> That'd go down lovely. So I'm going to leave... I wonder what that would sound like. Oh, uh, let's not. Let's not go. <laughs> it's Christmas. Let's keep things fresh. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Oh boy! Now just just go with it. Oh. All right, you can do it. All right, I'll leave you to it. Thanks, Mickey D. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. He's making the call. Here we go. Here we fucking go. <laughs> Good evening, Hawks on Brunswick Street. This is Katie. How you going, Cody? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks. Uh, what yeah. can I get for you? You had a good day? Sorry? Have you had a good day? I'm sorry, the line's cutting in and out. Yeah. <laughs> Have you had a good day? Um, yes, busy, but good. Yeah, what time did you start? Sorry? What time did you start? Uh, five. Five, okay, cool. Um, I've just been chilling all day. Sorry? I've just been chilling out all day. Um, can I can I get you anything? Um, I don't know. Do you, do you guys do Indian or? Was, do you do Indian Sorry? food at all? Do you do Indian food at all? Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I was just. I don't know. I'm not 
being able to hear you is making this very confusing for me. Okay, sorry. Can you hear me better now? Sorry, I have a huge line, so is there anything... What, do, you, do you guys do Indian at all? Because I'm just feeling a bit of Indian. Oh, this is a fish and chip shop. Oh, okay. So you can't do Indi like a mix Indian with fish and chips or...? Nope, just fish and chips. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh well. Um, I guess I'll just have to pass then. Alright. Alright, well thanks for that. Yeah, have a great night. You too. <laughs> oh my god, that was oh. so good! Oh. oh, you did great! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she, she's going, what? what? <laughs> oh. I think... I don't reckon the line was cutting out. I reckon she was just going, saying what? that because yeah. she was so bewildered. Yeah. <laughs> I love that oh. she, she, she kind of threw us because Shit. she didn't say, what do you want? She said, hi, this is Katie. Yeah, how was your day? Good. How was yours? Just, what? <laughs> you could have... You <laughs> she, uh, she was trying to... I think she was trying to say, the line, I've got about 10 lines oh, wanting, wanting yep. orders. Yep. And I'm speaking... <laughs> I'm talking about your day. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, Indian, she's just... What? <laughs> I think the lines are breaking. Oh, no. Good work. Oh, you did so well. Christmas special. Did you feel good? Did you get? I feel good now. Did I'm you feeling, get into it or? Yeah, the butterflies are leaving. Good. And I think it's uh, bad things to come. Yeah. I'm afraid. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have to make some more calls. It's going to be amazing. I'm excited. Me too. All right. Well, let's let's kick it to a, I feel like a punched up kind of song. Yeah. Maybe here we go. Here we go. Just punch it. it. Yep. So if you're out there, start dancing, all right? Jump you, around. Jump around. This is the Christmas special on Dice FM. Enjoy. Happy times.
Hey guys, welcome back to Mickey D and the Butcher Boy on Dice FM. This is the Christmas special, and that was Here We Go. And you know what we're going to do now? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We're going to call our mothers. That's right, because it's Christmas, and I think it's appropriate that we give our mums a call and wish them a merry, merry Christmas. Yes. And see what they want from Santa. Yep. What do you reckon? So, I'm let's start off with my mum, yep. Susie. Let's see if she answers. Mums are renowned for not picking up the phones, they aren't are. they? They so, are. My mum doesn't have it on my mobile. So. No. Oh, Ten bucks she doesn't pick up. Yeah, mum. Yeah. Come on, come on. We'll ring, we'll ring the landline if she yeah. doesn't pick yeah. up. Then who knows? Maybe you get your dad. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> hmm. No. Not looking good. Hey, you phone Susie. All right. Let's, let's... Disappointing, Mum. <laughs> very, very disappointing. disappointing. Let's ring the uh, a home line. Home line. It's... Uh... Oh, we got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> All the people on. I can't really say it. Either. So I'll just guess it. I'm just dialing in the number as I'm talking. And we're going to give the home line a call. Now, my brother go. might pick up. This will be funny. If it, w- if... Oh, oh <laughs> it's engaged. Oh, she's killing me. All right. Well, we're going just... to we're gonna move on to your mum. Okay. Shit. Well, let's see. Because I'll see if... have to call so the landline. And I don't know who I'll get. I'll probably get one of the kids, my little brothers well, and right. sisters. Merry Christmas. We can work with that. We'll go with that. So your mum doesn't even doesn't have a mobile. Eight three three nine. Um, no. no. You she just said the me. number. No, no, no one's going to call Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Let's get realistic. All right, but, here we um, go. Oh, this could be. Okay, here we go. This is the house phone. Oh shit! I just started calling, and your mum's calling. Oh, well... so it's probably still calling. Mum? Yes? You're on you're on this you're on the radio show. <laughs> How are you going? I'm going fine. We've just had a slight crisis. Oh, oh. <laughs> is it a bad time? It's only a little one because you know, Steve leaves tomorrow morning for Korea. Yeah. And so he just started to get the suitcase out, and they've all got these jolly locks on, but no key. Oh, yeah, that's what happened with me. So I had to use another, um, another bag. Well, at least we haven't had to get the hacksaw. We were, we were able to get on to Pete. Yeah. And he told us where there might be some keys, and I'm huffing and puffing because I've been running up and down the stairs. M- Mum, you, you do realise we're on the radio show. <laughs> Be on a radio show. It's not like you're asking me questions about abortion. What? <laughs> Mum, we Bang. just rang because this is a Christmas, Christmas special. <laughs> this is a Christmas show, and we just wanted to ring both our mums and see what they wanted for for Christmas. <laughs> so, can you just answer this one question? We were just wondering what you wanted, what you wanted Santa to get you for Christmas. Not abortion. Dad, get me for Christmas. What? Do you want Santa to get? I only ever want music from Dan. His music's so beautiful. Oh, I can oh. do that. <laughs> we, we can we can get that done. You've done nicely nicely put. What about my music? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, well, look, Dan. I'll talk with you later about this. Mike, your your music is so much better than Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay you later, mate. I'll pay you later. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you are, you are putting together a CD for me. Yes, you, yes, yes. Oh, really? That's, that's true. That's Christmas true. platter of music. Yeah, Christmas platter of music. I like. I like it. It. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I'll I'll call you later, and and I'll li- I'll listen to the emergency well, later. All right. <laughs> I, okay, but hang on. What does Dan want from me for Christmas? Oh, uh, <laughs> wow, wow. Well, what do you want? Putting me on the spot. Yeah. What do you want? I want nothing. That, that's, is, that's is that an option or no? That's not an option. It's not an A or a B or picks. Picks, but plectrums, plectrum, plectrum, a plectrum. I think just I one. think I've given you some plectrums before, but well, you um, can never have too many. That's okay. I will come up with something good for you, Dan. <laughs> All right, oh, I'll look forward to it. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mum. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, See ya. You're doing a radio show. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Mum. Bye. See ya. Oh, bye. Oh. 
I don't think she understood. <laughs> that she was she just does. straight into it. She, <laughs> she <laughs> an abortion. What else do you do? <laughs> I don't know how many times I had to say, Mum, we're doing the show. Like, oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Let's push on. Oh, oh well. I, I felt a bit rude cutting her off, but... Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's let's see. We're running low, batteries. <laughs> We're running low. Let's see how we go with uh, with your mum. Who do you reckon? Anyone? Going? How Who am you... I going to explain it? I can't. If, if just, someone else, just I'm say just gonna... oh, his mum there. Here we go. It's Adelaide, by the way. This is Adelaide. Do you want to leave a message? Or? And sometimes the audio goes, uh, just leave a message if you want to and we'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye. G'day, Bob. Answer your bloody phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a shame. We didn't get uh, spill the Butcher Boy's mum on. Well, if she does call back soon, we can, we'll just o'clock. press record. She's probably getting dinner ready. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Probably. Eight o'clock. Eight she's o'clock. getting dinner. Just starting to get getting dinner. The kids, getting the kids ready for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh we'll definitely get her on a show. Yeah. We'll make that yeah. our aim. Yeah. Maybe maybe yeah, the New talk. Year's New Year's special. Yeah, we'll New get Year's special. On. Don't you worry about that, folks. That's right, New Year's special. Anyway, let's kick it to our last song, and then we're going to wrap things up with a message, a Christmas special message. From Russ. From Russie. Our mate, Russ. No, no, no. My mate. Your mate. That's <laughs> right. I keep on saying that. I don't forget. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's cut it to Spin Me Around. Oh, spin it. Bang. Here we go. This is Dice FM.
Hello guys, welcome back to the Mickey D and the Butcher Boys Awkward Happy Hour On the Christmas special What a night it's been It's been splendid with lots of uh, new special tricks guests. Yes We had Jimbo Jimbo We had Asmini Asmini We had the Fish and Chip Chop Lady Fish and Chip Lady had my mum, Susie. Your mum, Susie. We tried to have your mum, Sophie. We tried to have my mum, Sophie. We just want to wish all our listeners a splendastical Christmas with amazing gifts and joyful laughs. We hope you enjoyed this happy hour. You're better off. <laughs> is that sorry? Not the right spirit, is it? No, no, sorry. No, sorry. We, we, we'll go with that. Little aggression is good. We're going to leave. We're going to say good night. Good night, baby. But we're going to leave you with a Christmas special message from my mate, Russell Crowe. That's right. Thanks a lot, guys. You've been beautiful. You're always beautiful. Any messages, always, any always. feedback, any comments... We'll embrace it. We'll hug it. Give us something. (laughs) And we might even give you a call. (laughs) Or 50 bucks, one or the other. (laughs) (laughs) All right. See you later, guys. G'day. I'm Russell Crowe. You've probably seen me in a movie called Robin Hood, Men in Tights. And if you reckon you've seen a bigger bulge in a pair of tights... I reckon you should run off to the closest shower, put it full on cold, jump in, and wake up. Because it's not going to happen. Right, anyway. It's Christmas time. Time of cheer. I'm happy. I'm very happy. But anyway, Mickey D's asked me to uh, share a little Christmas tale full of spirit and uh, just to get everyone a bit happy and ready for Christmas. So I uh, thought of a little tale about when I was eight years old. And this one's for the parents. So get a pen and a paper and uh, just listen in. Right. So it was Christmas morning, 10 o'clock. I set my alarm for 10. Because I'm not waking up early for anyone. I don't care what day it is. Right, so then I... Walk out to the Christmas tree. And I see one little present there. Well, I couldn't believe it, just one present. But anyway, turned out to change my life forever. I've got three words for you people. Gillette three blade. Changed my life. All of a sudden I felt like a real boy again. Didn't have a three-day growth every day. So anyway, that's my Christmas spirit for the day. I hope you've taken that on board and uh, think it over. 
Anyway, Merry Christmas. Catch you later.